My name is Chip Kalleen and I've been a volunteer at Heartland for over 12 years and I love it. Films are great. You learn something every day from every single film. It's a passion and we love, we love the filmmakers to share their passion with us. We are at the Heartland Film Festival and we have Laura and Jerry. What film are you guys with? Many beautiful things. So is there any particular um, audience that you're looking for, that you're excited about? I mean, I think people who appreciate art, our film is about an artist, people who appreciate beauty, um, people who are um, interested in questions of calling and vocation. Our film sort of explores these themes of the life of Lilius Trotter, who was an artist in the Victorian era, and it also features Downton Abbey's Michelle Dockery, who's Lady Mary Crawley. So come on out. I know, so excited. Thank you so much and enjoy your stay. We will see you soon. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I am Catherine May and I'm the one of the shift chairs for Heartland Film Festival. I've been doing this for um, four or five years now and I absolutely love coming and hearing everyone talk about the films and all the fantastic films we get, the directors, the viewers, the volunteers. It's been absolutely fantastic. Hi there, welcome to Heartland. I have with me Brandon Dickerson from Victor. Welcome to Indianapolis. Thank we you. appreciate you being here. Oh, so can you give us just a little bit about what your film is about and why you decided to make it? Uh, absolutely, it's a true story uh, about Victor Torres. He was a Puerto Rican migrant, came over in 1962 uh, to Brooklyn, got involved in gangs and drugs, and the journey is kind of a redemptive story of him coming through those things. So I had worked with the executive producer Greg Wilkerson years before and he had brought me the story, uh, a book, a memoir and life rights and asked me if I'd be interested in adapting it for the screen. And I read the book, loved the book and then uh, met the real life Victor and that just sold it for me once I met Victor. And so I spent about a year you know, adapting his story for the screen and then and then brought it to and then directed as well so getting to do something that literally took place in the same year the West Side Story came out was kind of fantastic but I had done some period stuff in commercials but never in the feature realm so it was a challenging the good the, the good thing is that jeans and t-shirts are still kind of not hard to find and most of the yeah most of the kids were wearing converse and leather jackets and but you had so. a, you had a lot of actual vehicles yeah, and stuff vehicles. that played characters in no. your in your movie so yeah. how do you come about acquiring you, them yeah you just rent them i mean there's guys that all these vintage car guys and so that was kind of fun like kid in a candy store you got to go through a list of all these vintage cars and pick them out and we shot on the fox back lot it was great i mean just all the period stuff, the wardrobe, and certainly the wardrobe for Lisa Vidal and for other characters. I just had an incredible wardrobe designer and and then just a great art director. And so it's a collaborative medium. I found the right people to help me bring that to life. And so what do you want to tell Heartland Film goers and when are, when are you screening? Yeah, we're screening uh, our premiere. Our world premiere is actually tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow night, 7.30, so I would love for them to come. And that's when cast and crew are going to be there. Yeah, cast and crew will be there. Patrick Davis will be there, the real life. After Victor party. Torres. After party. It's going to get real, people. It's going to get real. You can see the big scene she's talking about. All it's right. going to be incredible. So. Well, thank you so much, yeah, Brandon. Hope, hope people come. Hi, my name is Roseanne Sullivan, and I love Heartland. And this is my first year I'm spending at Heartland without my daughter, Ann Sullivan and I miss her terribly, but I've enjoyed the shows. They've been wonderful. And I hope that my daughter can come back next year for our 25th anniversary of Heartland. That is my dream. Thank you. Come on! We are here with Jeffrey Brown from Listapad. Thank you so much for coming to the Heartland Film Festival. Can you tell us a little bit about your film? Yes, the name uh, Listapad means November in Czech. It's a Czech film uh, with English subtitles. Um, it's about the Czech Velvet Revolution. It's a story of three boys and their spirited friendship around the events of 1989. We shot mostly in Prague, but we also shot in Slovakia. Um, and uh, the director's name is Gary Griffin. Gary shot for American TV, The Revolution, 
the Czech Revolution 1989. So we have a, our own unique archive in the film. And um, the story is based, it's inspired by a true story of three boys um, on the eve of the Velvet Revolution in 1989. And so about their choices of getting involved. It also just deals with daily life of boys drinking beer and chasing girls and all of those things, playing ice hockey. But um, it's just one take on the Velvet Revolution. And it's, uh, I think the unique bit is that it's from an American filmmaker, an American, well, two, two American filmmakers, Gary and myself. Gary's the director, I'm one of the producers. And um, I think that always brings a different perspective to um, historical events. Um, I think one of the coolest things about it is that uh, we started shooting in 2009, which was the 20 year anniversary of the fall of communism and the revolution. So when they were having this massive demonstration in the actual place where the original protest took place, uh, we closed off the street and we had about 400 extras uh, right in the middle of this. It's a very intense scene. Yeah, around there in this gigantic party going on. So yeah. we, uh, we that was that was very intense. But in terms of um, in terms of casting, we just um, just did a normal casting for local actors um, who we thought looked apart, who were good actors, or theater actors and some TV actors, and um, just kind of picked and picked and selected the ones that we wanted. Hi, we're Eric and Debbie Hassler, parents of Clay and Tip Hassler, and we're so happy to be in Indianapolis supporting their screening of Homeless at Heartland Film Festival. All right, I am here with David Manugian from The Big Lonely. Can you give us a little bit of information about what your film is all about? Sure, The Big Lonely is about a man who, after becoming homeless, instead of going and living under a bridge, he decides to move out into the middle of the Oregon wilderness and build a secret cabin on government land and has been living there for the last 10 years. And this is actually a documentary and you did this very differently than most documentaries in that you let him actually do all of the filming and stuff. So how did you come about this process, this idea yeah. to do this? Um, because it's a very different kind of first person documentary. Yeah, well, you know, I just wanted the story to be told as true as possible. And when you started, you know, thinking about a camera crew being out there in the middle of winter, 20 below zero, the camera crew is staying warm, they're feeding themselves, and this poor guy is trying to fight to stay warm, to eat. It just didn't make any sense, not to mention wildlife patterns start to get disturbed by having other people out there. So it was kind of like the only way left to do it was to teach him how to use the cameras. And the pride he takes in the, the way he you know, shoots the shots and sets the camera up is just is remarkable, the footage he got. I know at the very end of the film, he's showing a lot of pictures of his daughter and stuff. Um, has he reached out to her? Does she know about this film? Not that, I, I, we don't know if she has seen it. I know that Michael has not reached out to her. He's very sensitive about that. He, he worries that it'll create, you know, angst and havoc in her life. And that's just something that he, he's not comfortable with. Um, yeah, that's a really sad part of the movie as a, as a parent and a, and a father of a daughter. I just, I couldn't fathom not seeing my daughter for 30 years. It's just crazy. Does he harbor any resentment for the things that happened in his life? That well, you know, there's a, there's a great line he says in the movie where he's, he's, he's washing some clothes and he makes the comment that he's not pure white, but I'm not a bad guy. And it kind of describes all of us, right? None of us are perfect. We're all doing the best that we can. So I think, you know, he, he, he takes a lot of responsibility for um, the way things have turned out, but I, I think also he's had, you know, he's had some bad luck, and he was a product of an abusive childhood, and and he's just doing the best he can. So, how did you find out about him, and how did you go about the process of convincing him to do this? Yeah. My brother-in-law stumbled upon him hunting out in the middle of the woods, and literally almost ran into the cabin without seeing it. He befriended Michael over a couple of years, and then um, when we approached Michael, he really wanted his story to be told. Um, yeah. So, awesome. Well, when are you screening your film? Screening uh, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So awesome. come out and see it. Yeah. And you'll be doing QA. I'll be doing Q and A on on all four sessions. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, thank David, you. and we look forward to seeing Great. you. Great. Appreciate right. it. Hello. I think everyone should come to the Heartland Film Festival. It's going all the way till next weekend, and uh, Sunday there'll be a big close of all the award winners. Don't miss that. You can either get single tickets, get them online. They're cheaper or commit to a fest pass and see as many things as you want. I enjoy it so much.
During the day is absolutely wonderful. You can come, you can buy your tickets online ahead before you come. Or just uh, today, it was 10 minutes and I was down the road and decided to, to come over. And uh, it was great. I try to get at least seven uh, films in uh, a season. And I know Mary Beth, she gets a lot more than me even. And we'll still take volunteers. You can go to our website. We need a few more people this week and you'll earn tickets to come. Come on out, you'll Go really Heartland. enjoy it.